Worldwide Company. Today I'm going to you know, present you how to work with the system here. It's going to be brief, but uh, again, uh, you get an idea of how to work it out. Okay? So here, we have a full sign to the system. So when the, when the parking lot gets full, it's going to light up. When it, you know, when our car gets out, it'll uh, go back to normal. Okay? How, would it, how would it know it's full? It counts that there's a loop sensor, so it counts the car coming in. in. Yeah, coming in and coming out. Coming in, coming yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. it counts. You know, it counts. You know, it's, it's pretty extra, you know. Uh, good. So it's all just for that. Uh, we have here the fire department switch also, so that you can access and open it. Um, over here, um, inside, we have a, a car reader, and we have a keypad, okay? So the car leader, you know, it's uh, gonna be scheduling and opening this uh, roll-up door for, you know, the certain time, you know, maybe normal business hours. After hours, uh, you can still use the car leader, but you can also use the keypad. The keypad has two options. You can do a code which can open only a roll-up door. You can do a code which can do uh, open both of them. Okay. So I'm gonna right now demonstrate that uh, we can just uh, open, for example, the roll-up door. So if I do a code uh, right here, what happens? It just opens the roll-up door. And if I do another code, it will do the roll-up and out of it. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate that to you also. Uh, I'm going to let one second. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm demonstrate you know the master code which is gonna open both the roll up and the auto gate at the same time. So the reason I went there to do that is basically the timer on the roll up door is not installed yet but eventually it's gonna time out and close itself. Okay? So here I'm gonna do another code this master code will open both. So you see this it opens this and opens this and uh, when I drive out I'm gonna pretend this is my vehicle it has a metal detector, which is on the, you know, on loops over here on the ground. So, so this is the loop where you count the car, you know, when they go in. And this loop is a safety and reset, safety and reset to pretty much close the gate after you. The vehicle goes through this close after you. Okay? So, uh, let's assume here, so in order, Let's say it's a normal, normal business hours, it's during the day, the, the roll-up is already open. So I come in up here, so you gotta have physically a car over the roof, you know, to, uh, to allow you to grab a ticket. Okay. okay, so you get you the ticket, okay? Uh, and then as you proceed to drive out here, you'll go up to you. Right now this has a grace period of about five minutes. Okay. So if I go over here, it sends the car. This descends the car okay. and dip it in. That's my favorite. Now it's gonna open that. It's gonna also open the roll-up door at the same time, right? you know, uh, every time. Okay? Okay. okay. So right here, if I drive out, and I can demonstrate the really going close the door. So you can see the building. Stay open because of this sensor, right? No, this gate is staying open only if they have a so the cars, but it's right here, it won't close for sure. It won't go. Okay. I mean it can, I mean you're not gonna have to put yeah, yeah, this yeah. way. So this is gonna be scheduled in the normal hours. Okay. After hours you can you know you did that it's open out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
right to throw it out. So, so here, we go over it again. Here, it's closing, and now as you can see that whenever it gets closed, it should open both both uh, outer gates and dock at the same time. So, and it takes, so it opens outer gates, opens the lower door. So, Pretty much, uh, uh, we have the same thing which I missed to tell you, but we have a dialer, so we can test now the, the dialer. So it's programmed to dial that uh, number. I think it's in San Francisco 415. I program it. Let's test and see what someone is going to answer. But both are down, down the same number, so they can be able to talk to the person here. How they're going to open the gate? I, I don't know about that idea. How they're going to open it? But most likely somebody has to do it through the computer to do it. And open it. Yeah, but you can talk to the person there. No, no, there was somebody, you know, an answering machine there, but they gave me a number, which the dial. I think it was Chuck. I think it was Chuck. There was an answering machine there, and when I was programming, I could hear that thing there. Hi, this is Chuck. No, Cool. Yeah, so, so that's that's pretty much how it works, you know, they, they can, you know. So how do you program the number? Uh, it's a very easy, you have to dial the number, the existing number to the unit. Okay. And then uh, there's, you know, the password to put it on, and then you can... It all happens to this, or it all happens to the controller? Just to change the phone number up. Oh, no, it's, you need just from your phone, you dial the, oh, the, okay. you dial this number. With whatever number that Yes, was. I have it, you know, uh, you dial this number, and then it's gonna it's gonna do a password, a signature password. You get in there, and then you're gonna program position one, what it can dial, position two and three and four. You can do actually uh, four numbers. Uh, so if you're busy, you know, if you go to another one, the ring, ring, ring. You know, nobody there. You know, you don't know how many times to ring. Like in this case, it's quite a bit in the ring, ring, kick. So, uh, but if you had it like you know three times or four times, ring, ring, somebody you know picks up, drops, does on. So you can do like a little page name, you know, so. So, and then, so all I do is from Chuck's phone? From, yeah, no, from any phone. From any, any, phone. any phone, you dial the number, this number, okay. and then, you know, there's a small instruction. You put, you know, push a password, it's gonna bid for you, it confirms the password is correct, you know, double bid in it, you're in, then it's gonna tell you the, the first number you do it, you do the first number, pound zero. The second number, the same thing. You do pound one. The third number, pound three. So it, it's very, it, I have the instruction, you know. It, it's really very basic thing, but at the same time, it's very easy to program, okay? So, um, so on this one, also let's test the keypad on this one. We can set the keypad again, so let's go and close it up. <laughs> You don't wait to close. So I'm gonna a punch a code again, the same code which is uh, master code 2505. I have it. See the outer gate opens, this opens. There's a fire department switch right here on this one, and you know, also again opens every, everything there, okay? I don't have a key, the fire department is here, yeah. Uh, but, but it should work on there. Um, you can also manually on the on outer gate here. If there's an issue, you can manually open and close them here. You can, you know. Can, can I see that? Yeah. Right here. Uh, close the gate right here. Down. The gate is closing, okay? And I can say open. It'll open. So if you want to leave it open, <coughs> you got to keep it up and then stop the gate. Otherwise, as soon as somebody drives through, it's going to close. Okay. So if okay. I do that, it'll okay. stay open. Okay. The way I had it actually this morning. And if I wanted to stay down, stay down and yeah. not stop. Yeah, then you go up to that and just, you know, push down and it'll go down, okay? okay. Watch out there. So again, also, you can, let's say, assume the file goes down. This guy says it's functioning. No, it's functioning. It's working. Okay. But for some reason, it doesn't really work. Okay? What you can do right here, we have, we have a crank. 
this crank can be inserted into the motor right here, the bottom of the motor. Okay. And then you can uh, you can crank it. See here. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's cool. Yeah. That's that's like a last resort, you know, to, to, to work it out. Okay. So let me watch out. Let me just open. Watch out. I'm gonna open up. Okay. To make sure it gets all the limits all in place. Um. Yeah, so, so I mean, it's it's uh, eventually everything is going to be, you know, I don't know how advanced they're going to be going, but there's a validators in the, in the third room there, which eventually once you get a ticket, we have like six or seven validators over there, so they're going to be, you know, validating your tickets, you know, so they're going to be set up, so they're going to just it, but that'll be, that, that's, uh, and you're going to line that in the info for right now? I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna try to get it going, but I need to plug it a bit of a network. Uh, At this point, I don't need it to be. Okay. No, I think we're simple uh, doing it. We're gonna try maybe to do that race period, which we have in the other ticket to be right now five minutes. Who am I going to in that one? Okay. I mean, so we get a ticket and then take it out. But they can control it and then how we can how long they want to so stay here before they can be. <coughs> Probably again, that's pretty much there. Um, um, I mean, again, if uh, if you replace the bull, you can replace the bull, and then just come with the uh, replace the whole thing. Nobody will hear this. It won't have these actions. Keep it up, like just up and then free. Yeah, up and then stop. Yeah. What's the free for? Free, it's, uh, it's going to work normally. Okay, okay. So you can't, you know, it's going to stop. Stop. Stop is what's telling it to stop. Or yeah, what's stop in it is. Is. Yes, exactly. Okay. Either down or up. Uh -huh. You can stop either way. Okay. If I do it down, it's stop. It will work. Okay. It will be stay luck. Okay. So so like say if I, I know this and I open it, so I use the tool. Yes. And the power goes back on. It, it knows what to do. It knows what to do. Basically. Do I have to go back to it? No, no. It, it knows to where... No, it knows what to do. Okay. Yeah, it knows. I, we already demonstrated, so it can crank it. It, it. it knows what to do. Once the power goes back, there's a limit. It, it's going to find out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you give it an open command, it's going to... Let's say you open it uh, halfway. Yeah. And the power comes back, you give it an open command, yeah. it's going to open. Okay. okay. So it, I don't have to go back to it? No. No, you don't have to. Okay. It's okay. really... Uh, I mean, it has it's supposed to work on the backup, you know, but we don't have a backup for the gates. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but the motor itself will be able to, uh, you know, work okay. if, uh, if we give it an open command. Okay. So, like the fire department, they should be able to open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even if the power is on. Hello, No, but I'm saying, <laughs> no, but I'm saying, it, it, it can still work. You know, the fire department, you know, it's a hardware to this, so it should be able to open. If the power is down. Okay. The key pad will be dead, so you won't be able to jump back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the car engine is probably not back up, it's not going to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ticket is not going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, uh, the fire department is good. Okay. But I don't know whether this guy is back up, so the gate, the will pick up. I'm not sure. I'll find that out. Maybe during the day, I mean, it can still work it out if it's, you know, uh, but again, just there are so many things you can do, but uh, that's pretty much the only one we have. Okay. Um, I mean, again, you know, we're gonna probably have another three, you know, more advanced training with the computer, but some training you know, from the computer. But this for now, I think it's it's free now. Look here, I'll let me show you this one. So you can, uh, this is the counter which controls the car. So you tell, you tell this what you do. How many? Okay, so you go to here. Tell how many spaces we have. For example, how many spaces are here roughly? Nice. Let's assume, okay, let's assume they're like, a, okay, let's assume they're like a 10 spaces, okay, which, you know, just okay. Uh, and you can tell, for example, they're like, a, for a, you go next program, it tells you how many cars. Right now I have a one car E. Okay. It's my car. Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell that way to be accurate. And I think once you do it, this is really, unless some people drive here with some carts and think to, to screw, screw, it to it screw. Yeah, it's, well, pick it up. Might screw it that way, but if it's a... Uh, if it's a normal car is going over in and out, this should, should be very robust. Okay, so this, is, this is for your full size. Yes. Okay. When it gets the capacity, okay. it's gonna go full. And okay. when it gets, you know, again, uh, you okay. know, reaches the 10 limit right now, okay. uh, it's gonna turn it on. And when it gets down, it's gonna turn it off. Okay. So it's it's pretty simple stuff. And what it, those guys are counting. There's, there's a, a this this loop right here, and this loop is counting an in. This is counting out. So it's pretty basic uh, and pretty accurate at the same time. Sometimes we use those sensors, you know, for the nowadays, you know, to count each space, each slot, you know, but this is better than, than the sensors. You know, it's just really, it's the metal. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Um, and here is the way you pack the tickets actually in second numbers uh, where all the tickets are dropping. One exception there that's uh, pretty much going to be there. Okay. So I mean it's pretty much self-explained, this is a very basic you know, uh, system, it can be very advanced, it can be with a computer here, you know, very advanced with a, you know, pay revenue, okay. it's, we, we are really basic here, okay. I think it's going to serve what they want to do pretty well. Yeah. You have any questions here? Yeah, um, let's look at this one. Oh, the ticket, yeah, there are the tickets. So this is, Let me show also this, I mean, that's why you change the ticket. This is grab the ticket and this, this is what you... Yeah, the old it's ticket. Full sign. Yeah, and this is where you change the ticket, okay. you know. Uh, it's pretty basic and, and easy to use it. You know, just push this one in and, and drop the ticket. Just push it in and we'll get it in there, okay? Yeah, yeah feel it. It's gonna stop. It. It's gonna do one cycle, it, it's gonna get it done. I gotta put like a printer, print this yeah. up, slide yeah, it just in, boom. It's lock gonna, it. boom, okay. it's gonna print one thing out and it's gonna be fine. So. Okay, what's your, what's your red button for it? Uh, that you can manually do things, you know, from here, uh, if you have a car present there. Yeah. It's, it's a nice machine, you know, definitely, I think it's, 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 uh... If I needed to do a reset on this and pretend it's just, you know... Yeah, you can power open. it down. Yeah, power it down. You can power it from here down. Okay, okay. And power it up. Okay. You know, there's also a double, another switch down here. There's a few switches that are right here. There's another one. See here now. Yeah. When it cycles, it, it gives you, uh, you know, a ticket. You know, when it does the cycle, there's yeah. another switch down on our main switch. Okay. Also, uh, there's a programming. You can program things through here. Program display things like that. So, uh, but uh, again, the computer will do that. You know, you have a computer eventually. You know, um, I need to. I need to connect the last actual wire. This is the last part of the computer talks to. But, uh, I'm going to check it out today. So, uh, here's the dialer, which is the tone, you know, in here. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, again, it's just something we're trying to do. Uh, okay, what? Do you have your wire from your gates to that point already? To that yes. Gate? You do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, you can see. And you, you got it labeled? There. We're sharing it with access, we're sharing it from the room here. Oh, okay. yeah, we're sharing it. But you see, I demonstrated the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have it alone, no. Okay, okay. So, my, the keypad is mine, the cardio is not mine. Yeah. So, the cardio is the back. So, we use the cardio is the back. So, uh, so, yeah, so, basically, you know, I demonstrated that, you know, by using a code was opening. So, yeah, it's unwired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to open it. Okay. You know, we managed to, like, you know, to do a real day. They want to do a open this, open this, so. I don't have much to do, I'm going to do this. Hey, we should be the master code. Yeah. I think what we need to do is one. Uh, where, I, need, I just need a master code, like you said, small. You want to go, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Right now, I have 25 to 5, so we can change it. You can do 400. I guess you can stop with the video, I think, you know, probably that should be fine for now. So, well, 